Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Leo Bay campaign. We pick it up from episode 3 from turn 25 in the autumn season of 187. So, uh, we're back in our northeast corner of the map. We hold Liaoxi and we're about to fight Zhang Jiao. Now Zhang Jiao just taken our uh, trade port, uh, so we're going to be taking it back. Zhang Bao has a reinforcement army nearby, but he's not going to make it in time. So we just have to wipe out this force. I don't think they have... Oh, they replenish really fast. 49%. Okay, so uh, these guys are almost ready to fight. So this won't be an easy fight. Uh, we'll definitely try our best to beat them. Uh, let's see. Liang Zhongning, Ma Yuanyi. Uh, hippophobe. Uh, he is a scholar, so most likely he doesn't have healing. Veteran. Okay. We should be okay. Zhang Zhao is not that strong. He does have his legendary staff. Uh, so we'll see if we can uh, kill him and get this uh, just for collection's sake. We really can't use it. Um, let's see if the game is willing to give us that. So we're going to put them in under siege with our tribuchet units. Uh, that way our tribuchet don't have to uh, slowly uh, arrive as reinforcement. We're going to send in Guan Yu as reinforcement and then we're going to get this fight started. This is the big thing this episode here. I'm going to approach from one side here because we can move this army around. Because I remember the tra uh, fishing port or trade ports have the side door as one of the better uh, place where we can fight. So we're going to try to dictate that a little bit with our reinforcement army. So we're just going to jump in here. No reason to wait. Uh, we can't do night battle even though it would help us with um, uh, decreasing their morale. But we really need Guan Yu here uh, in the fight. Uh, and we are not going to starve them out or demand uh, and wait for them to come out. I prefer fighting them when they have arrow towers and they just sit there and let us pound them. And also I can't wait because Zhang Bao's force is so close. So let's jump in here and uh, see how we destroy the leader of the Yellow Turbans. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here and uh, our reinforcements not exactly coming from where I planned. But I guess that way is kind of part of the ocean, but close enough. Uh, we'll set up over here. This is the door I want to fight at. I'm not sure if the enemy will charge out or not, so we're going to start out pretty conservative here. And line ourselves way in the back in case they do want to charge out. We want to get as many shots in as we can. Uh, so, not going to spare any distance here. If we need to slowly move them up, we'll move them up. And I can just cut that part out. Uh, we're going to just label these guys a little bit differently here. These guys have fire arrows. Uh, so, we're going to utilize that. And we're going to group them separately. So we don't need to waste our tribuchet shot on towers. Uh, we can just aim for units. Surprisingly, I thought the season should... Oh, it's autumn. Okay, it's not winter yet. Uh, snow would have been better, slowing their advance down. Uh, we will use some deployables. We're going to put spikes here in case the cavalry... Usually they won't get to here, though. I think they come out, they'll come out of both gates, so they'll favor this side a little bit. So my guess is here. Let's see if it's right. And then we'll just put the fire kind of here, if it'll let me. There we go. And we can use our tribuchet to activate that. Uh, Lu Fan's completely useless in this fight. He has the increased cooldown on enemy abilities, but... Zhang Zhao doesn't have any really strong abilities. He has one that's on death, but not that important. Uh, Mi Zhu is very useful. He has the Wisdom of the River. We'll keep him closer to the front. Liu Bei will stay here until we get our reinforcement in. So let's start it. And let's see. Are they coming out? Oh, it looks like it. Let's get a shot in first to see. No, wait. Are they just... Hold on. They're not coming out. Okay, that's that's better if they refuse to come out. We'll get our reinforcement here. So I'm going to set up our units a little bit closer uh, to the gate here. And then we'll see you guys when we're ready. So see you guys then. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, we're closer to the gate. Pretty much as close as I want to be. Uh, we could be a little bit closer, but there's no reason to do that. We are very low rank, so um, we're going to be very inaccurate. So we're just going to aim for clusters here. 
Our key target are uh, spear units uh, because they have shield as well. The spear guards, uh, spear, uh, I guess what they call spearmen gains. Yeah, uh, they have a nice uh, shield as well. If we can light the city on fire, uh, it will spread to all the uh, towers. This is the only tower that won't catch fire uh, that way. So these will all go down just by these shots right here. And we'll hit the front. Uh, the closer they are, the more accurate our trebuchet is going to be. So we're going to take it quite slow here because we really can't afford any mistakes uh, in this fight. And then we have one really foolish trebuchet. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't move all the way up uh, to the range because sometimes they will act weird and uh, move up by themselves. Uh, there are these Trozen of the Eight Immortals, also a very hard unit to kill. Let's get a couple more shots in here, and then we'll move back over there. They're not firing together, which is awkward. This one's just acting up. Alright, we'll do guard mode. I don't think it's going to help, but... You see the fire spreading? That's the excellent thing here. They'll catch over here. Unfortunately, fire didn't really spread over there. Damage wasn't high enough, but we'll get another shot in over there. So I'm pretty sure fire will spread. We would like it to spread to all corners of the city because getting the settlement burned down will also reduce their morale. Uh, we're definitely not going to win this uh, without destroying their morale. Their generals are also very strong. Uh, it seems like our dear friend Gong Sanzan have died. Uh, Dreadbringer is being held by Liang Zhongning and Liu Bei has a rivalry uh, effect with Zhang Jiao so it definitely means uh, he killed our friend uh, Gong Sun Zan so alright hopefully our trebuchets will fire normally there we go alright yeah I don't mind a few shot going wide north because that's what we want here we want a fire started all right, let's get another shot. Maybe a little bit closer to the left, so we might accidentally scratch this building as well. I wouldn't mind that at all. We don't have that much ammo. We started with maybe 14, I think. Yep, we got a one shot there. That's good. All right, there's the other immortal unit. Alright, just because it's so dense here, I want to get a shot in. Uh, these two are moving up. How come you don't see your target? Why do you have to move up? Alright, we'll let those two fire and then we'll stop. Well, at least they got good hits. Alright, we're rank 2. One of them ranked up. Right, we'll try this shot again. Hmm, not super effective. I'm gonna just shoot at it. Oh, 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 never mind. One of them hit it. Okay, so that one's burning down. That Those all burned down. Great. Okay, let's see. Spearman gains probably our number one target. We can actually move up now because the uh, towers are all gone. Alright, let's... I think it will be down by the time we move up there. We're also going to move our archers a little bit closer up just in case they decide to come out, especially with the towers all down. It's likely that they could charge out. Right, you see the settlement damage lowers their morale by four points. Um, hopefully, m more more of the town burns down. We could try to get a couple shot into this zone here. We'll wait till our trebuchets are a little bit closer, so they can be a little bit more accurate. This is probably the shot we want. Why is the other four so slow? Oh, they're not turned yet. 
Well, get you guys ready so we can hit over here. What are you doing? Wait, what happened? Get back on the machine, please. Why are they off the machine? Okay, okay. Alright, now they're ready. Also here. Wait. Uh, these things really don't listen, do they? Look, they left the machines again. Why? I'm so confused. Flaming rounds. Alright, they're on the machine. No, face forward. What are you guys doing? All right, our tributaries just would not listen to me. All right, can we get this shot or not? All right, finally, I think we finally regained control of them. Do we have a fire over here? Not yet. All right, we need to get another shot. Look at that. They they left the machines again. That's so frustrating. Why are they like this? All right, whatever. All right, that fire started. Good. Back to hitting spear units. Also, same thing here. At least they're firing now. I don't know why they were acting up earlier. Alright, gonna move our archers up. Zhang is a little bit injured. Wonder if he's willing to fight us in a duel. Doesn't want a duel. He does, but he has a Dreadbringer. Golden Zen's weapon's not to be uh, 1.9 armor piercing damage. That's pretty high. Commanding buff. Okay. Disorient. We could try to get him into a duel. Drag him out. And then we can use uh, Wisdom of the River to kill him. That could help us. I'm preserving the last few shots here. Uh, for a chance to get them more clumped up. Right now we're going to try to lure him outside with a duel. Uh, I think we can do this because he's willing to duel us. So all we have to do is get into range so he offers the duel. And then we can run back in the opposite direction. Oh, he's not offering it. Oh, if that's the case, then we want to tilt. So he comes out this way. We don't want to meet him there. Now what's the extent of this duel? Where can we be to still trigger it? Oh, out of range. Okay, so we'll just go back a little bit here. There we go. Go give him a bonus. 
This doesn't really help him. Yeah, we want to fight outside. These guys have no range block chance, so we're going to try to kill them. Come on, Mijuul. We need you. Right, let's use this right away. When they get engaged. So we can drop his health real quick. In the beginning... He used commanding shout. Honestly, Lu Fan should have been here too to stop his cooldown on his abilities. Alright, Zhang Jiao has a bow. That's fine. We'll run back. Liu Bei can give people uh, archery protection. There we go. Oh, it's close. Oh, we killed him. We killed him. Uh, we didn't. That was fast. I thought it was going to last a little bit. Alright, Zhang Jiao is mad. They're coming out. That's fine. Guan Yu needs to just run away. Pull back a little bit. Alright, Guan Yu is injured. Liu Bei, Zhang Fei. Run. Guan Yu, don't die, don't die. Run. Okay, we'll run back together. We might as well put all our generals together. If they want to chase us, they can chase us. Oh, shake that off. Don't let them shoot you. Zigzag. Zigzag. Alright. We're good. We killed one of their better generals. And uh, let's keep shooting their Chosen of Eight Immortals. Now, let's see if Zhang Jiao wants to duel Zhang Fei. Oh, he does. Okay, Zhang Fei can find a fight too. After we get the cooldown back. We gotta be very careful here. Alright, let's kill their elite unit. Who has no range block chance. Poor guy. Zhang Fei, pick up that duel. Yep. Come out. Ah, uh, we should have waited 30 more seconds, but it's okay. The duel should last longer than 30 seconds. Start out with a Thundering Strike. Move closer to shut down his abilities. 10 seconds to reduce his armor. Not interrupting it. Come on. There we go. We didn't use it? That was a big chunk damage right there. Alright, stop firing. There we go. Just a simple stab to the gut. Alright, there goes two of their generals. Their elite unit is still on the field. We need to get rid of it. Alright, we'll stop firing for a little bit. We'll get on this hill, and I think we can shoot at that guy for free as well. We're going to inch our tribuchets a little bit more forward. Now that they don't have generals, I'm not that afraid of them coming out. I'll move everyone up. Oh, they can shoot at us. All right, back off a little. We can't see a unit there. This is another archer unit here. Hmm, that's a little awkward. Alright, now does Zhang Jiao want to duel? What about Liu Bei? Ah, uh, nope. Okay, so we gotta find a way to get through these spear grains. Uh, we can't really just charge them. Everyone else we can kill pretty easily with Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, and, and, and Liu Bei. He's still strong. Alright, once our tribuchet get to a closer position, we'll pound the front door. 
right here. One more shot. Alright, we're gonna just try to outshoot the enemy archer. We need to see them first. Get on the hill. I guess we can't really get on the hill here. Can we all shoot him? Well, the hill is taking a lot of the damage for us. So that's good. I think we can beat them. Just with sheer number. Alright, you guys shoot this one. Liu Bei can protect them with ability. And these three can shoot at that one. Come on, Liu Bei. We need you here. Alright, they're not doing anything there. Move up over here. These three guys. Fire back. Oh, we're out of shots. Save one. Oh god, we're not killing them fast enough. Let's see if I can lure them to charge out. If we're close enough... They might be tempted. Come on, charge at us. Alright, pull back, pull back, pull back. Alright, kill Zhang Jiao. Uh, we will drop his armor. Get him. Make sure our low health generals are not dying. Alright, if we can pull him back a little bit, it'd be better. Let's see who he's actually hitting. I think he's, hit, I think he's hitting a little bit. Alright, but we got him. Uh, we don't need to shoot at the general. We got him. We got him. We're gonna kill him. He has resiliency, so don't worry. I just don't want him to rally back. And also, once he dies, his unit's morale is going to crash. Come on, finish him off. Alright, pull them back. Uh, the tower is hitting us. Alright, it's so okay. We'll fix that in four seconds. There's that poor guy. A couple more hits. Yeah, we're just going to use these guys to shoot down the Spearman Guard. Even though they have 50% range block chance, we still need to kill them somehow. The rest of them, we have to use our generals. Alright, we killed them. Pull back. We have one more shot. This will be a good place to put it. If we really comes down to the end where we need to use our generals uh, to sacrifice, we can maybe have Liu Bei die. And then Guan Yu and Zhang Fei will heal and become super mad and win us the fight at that point. 
The only scary units now... Are probably just the met these guys right here. But we can use archers to kill them. All right, they can actually they can die for us. Go absorb all the arrows. Uh, two, move up. Let's see if they're willing to. We can drop their armor here too. Right, and then who's healthy? Get a side charge. Alright. Stop firing. We're hitting our own generals at this point. The entire third unit can can be here. Alright, they're running back. We're running back. Alright, we gotta control this chaos here for a second. I don't want anyone to die randomly. Kill the cavalry. Alright, they're both completely routed. These guys are here to take a shower. These guys are here to kill this elite unit. Uh, we can just use regular arrows. Go kill that elite unit as well. Alright, they're completely routed. Reset. Alright, we'll kill the cavalry. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Alright, chase out. Don't be braced. Alright, here they come, here they come. Now I can charge them a little. Alright, they're routed. Oh, someone lost their horse. Zhang Fei and Guan Yu lost their horse. Oh, a lot of them, they all lost their horse. That was a, mm, that was a brace unit. So I guess it doesn't matter now. Now we can just charge whatever. We lost all our charge damage, but... We're gonna just kill people now on the ground. Switch to fire arrow. Can drop their morale a little bit. Right, let's see who still have a horse. Alright, Lu Fan, you have a job. Alright, Guan Yu might die. Lu Fan's job is to capture this right here. No, 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 no. Go this way. Go this way. Alright, Mijul, don't die. Use your ability and get out. Um, Drone phase, low morale too. Oh, okay, who died? Okay, Guan Yu died. Nobody should be angry. We'll get all the guys without resiliency out. Time to just go into melee mode, I guess. Uh, no, no, you stay back. Zhang Fei could bounce back. Still a super messy fight. Okay. Give us a little bit of advantage there. Alright, you guys back off. Come back. Fire. Don't worry, we got this. Come on, Obey, fight. There we go. What's your attack speed? 24. Okay, a little low. We find we need you. Wow, everyone's routing. Uh, these guys go to range. Alright. 
Liu Bei will just have to solo. Soldier, hopefully you survive. We need you. Alright, he's doing it. Yeah, Zhang Fei has the issue where he doesn't have enough morale. Alright, archers against archers, we got this, right? Four. Come on, guys. Fire back. No base surrounded, guys. Shoot your arrows. Liu don't die, don't die, don't die. Zhang Fei bounce back. Finally, come back. Alright. Go back to fire arrows if you have ammo. Go reduce their armor. Alright, he did his job. Minus 10 more morale. We can reduce their armor a bit more. Let's kill these peasants. Alright, come up. Alright, they still have ammo. There we go, gotta fix that. Alright, if you still have ammo, you guys are called six. Join six. Alright, we're gonna move them in. Oh, they have come to attack us. Pull back. Alright, you guys without the ammo, go up, tank the damage. Alright, six. Go shoot them. I'm not gonna fight them. Just gonna loop them around. Zhang Fei, you're back. Get back over here. Uh, all the ones who don't have. Kill them. All the ones with ammo, move up, shoot. We'll give you advantage here. There we go. Group up. We can try to charge at them soon. Only our strategists have horses. Alright, these guys are routing, so I think we can just charge and be fine. We'll move them over to fight them. Zhang Fei, come over here if you can. Those of you with ammo, keep firing. Alright, keep charging, keep charging. Stay with us, Zhang Fei. Alright, alright. We route this group. We need to capture this tower too, or else we're gonna get picked off. Right. Right. Let's go back. I don't want to get shot up by the arrow. We just need to route this group. Alright. Come on, we almost won. Back off, Mijo. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. 700 health, keep moving. Jump Fei, charge. Charge. I think that's it. Ah, oh, one unit bounced back. Come on. Be fun. Your job. You have a horse. Oh my god, they're all bouncing back. Alright, try to capture this. Might be a little tough. Move up, move up. Fire. 
准备就绪，做好准备，剑甲不留。啊、uh, ，That one's also bounced back. Why are you guys so annoying? All right, jump straight, routed. Jump, you could die at this point. Give a little bit of some health back. Oh, we won. Right? No more units. Ooh, that was tough. Okay. Alrighty, we won, but it was messy. We probably only thing we I think we could have done better is if we didn't lose our horses on all four of our generals. Other than that, pretty happy with the result. Uh, we'll just take it. Alright, so Guan Yu is knocked out of this army for now. We can recruit him back full health next turn, so that's great news. Um, both of these generals leveled up. Uh, he can pick up... Uh, what do we want him to do? We want him to one day be a, a administrator, so going down the bottom route, getting reach is also great news. Uh, Zhang Fei continue going down the top. Uh, we don't need final rush. We're going to let him lead because he has uh, reach and flexibility for replenishment. And Zhang Fei can be recalled. I don't think this army will be an issue for this group here. I purposely didn't commit the tribuchet units. Just because I was hoping they could uh, help us uh, in the next fight against this group here. So Zhang Fei can be recalled to heal. We'll leave him so that we have uh, army count. We'll put him in the back so he can't get attacked. And next turn, once we summon Guan Yu and Zhang Fei back, we can uh, relieve any uh, siege here. Liu Bei also leveled up. Uh, we're going to continue picking up uh, leadership skills here. Uh, Miju leveled up. We can give all our range unit extra 10% armor piercing damage. It's autumn season. Let's see what else we can do here. We can wait one more turn before we upgrade this. It'll cost us another 1,500. And then we will be... We can wait two more turns. We can do this in the spring. So it'll cost us only another 1,000. So that's good. Okay. Guan Yu also leveled up. He just injured, so we can't select him. Uh, gonna give him consideration here? Yep, I think that's the way to go here. And we'll keep going for God of War. We didn't pick up any negative traits, right? Okay, yeah. No injury trait. Uh, we didn't get any of the gear. Uh, none of the weapon. So it's kind of disappointing there. Zhang Jiao leveled it up to level 2 in one turn. It was level 1. I have to thank him then. Uh, we would like it to be rank 3. Yeah, it seems like we have the money to do this. So let's do it. These coastal cities are going to be assaulted plenty of times by uh, naval surprise attacks, so it's better to get them higher level earlier. Um, that's it. I think we're happy with where things are. Let's continue. All right. Uh, they came here to pick the fight with us. Uh, that's as expected. Uh, we're going to be fighting this on the field. Uh, I'll show this because it doesn't seem like we should win this. But I think we can do it. We have towers and we have tribuchets, but we don't have any generals. Nobe's pretty much knocked out. Uh, only thing he can do is go harass some archers. That's about it. Same thing with our other two generals. we got to be very careful with Mijul here because uh, he doesn't have resiliency. So we gotta just keep him really safe. So let's start here. All right, time to hold this trade port that we just gained. They are attacking from one direction, so that's not bad. Let's regroup our units real quick. Our biggest advantage is these tribuchets that we have. So we're gonna try to maximize that by just keep pounding them. And we can extend the amount of time we can pound them by delaying them with our generals. Uh, first, this is the hardest thing. Getting the spikes at the door. It's almost an impossible task. Uh, okay, I guess we'll put them here. I want them closer up front. Oh, there we go, there we go. 
it's really hard to get that selection started. And then we'll get the fire also here. They are clearly only going to come in from one side. We could put these guys a little bit farther back, but I'm pretty happy with this location. Now our archers are all depleted with very, very low morale. They're going to get hit and run away pretty much as soon as that happens. We're actually going to pull them all the way back. Uh, they get a little bit extra morale bonus for standing on the victory point, so that's what we're going to try to do. And this is going to be our second defense here around this tower. Our trebuchet is going to be our first tier. Um, fire arrows, we'll take advantage of that. We'll also line them up here. Same thing. These guys also are not replenished. Uh, basically have no units. Uh, what we can do is stall here. Attract them to come attack us. I'm not sure if they'll fall for it. Miju, I don't want to die, so I'm going to hide him all the way on the other side. Liu Bei, I'm going to risk. I'm going to run Liu Bei out. He's going to be the bait in the beginning to buy us time. Now, Lu Fan also can be bait, uh, but I'm going to hide him because he has a little bit less health than Liu Bei, just a barely. Hide him here. I know Miju's ability is very useful, but I just can't afford to lose him at this point. So we're going to micro them, and then we're going to get Liu Bei running around. So Liu Bei first. Let's start. So what you want to do is select the unit, right? As the AI think you're charging at them, they'll actually stop moving uh, once you get close enough. Right, we just have to fake charge them. See, they'll try to get braced. We just need to buy ourselves some time. Oh, they're shooting at us. They're getting smart. Impressed by the AI. Alright, you're not smarter than me though. We'll loop around. Not coming in. Nope. Don't think you're gonna duel us. Alright, I'll keep them here. Don't move, don't move. That's right, stay, stay, stay. Manual immobilize. Alright, we can't get back in. That's the one big problem with putting the spikes here. Alright, our trick is up. There's only so much we can do. Let's see if we can sneak around. I don't want to get engaged on. Alright. We'll just hit this spot. And then we'll hit here. Actually, we should just hit here now. Oh, we can't. Uh, one of them can't. Hit there. Oh, no, 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 no. We can kill you. You can't kill us. That's right. Oh, we didn't light the fire. We did. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. It's okay if we get rushed. No problem. We'll kill the general. Route. There we go. Unfortunately, they got through, but keep firing. Don't let up. We'll nice. All right, we'll pick up these uh, routing units. I don't care if he's mad. Our archers can take care of that. All right, kill routing spearmen first, because once they rally back, we can't kill them. Archers we can kill even if they rally back. All right, we're good. We can ignore that. Our tribuches are sacrificed, but we're not going to end this cleanly. Perfect. I'm still waiting for him to enter the door because his horse is going to get killed if he tries to enter. 
Alright, we're done. Uh, we're gonna save these guys. Run back. This group is done. We'll save one unit of Tribuche for a later use. Nobody's just gonna have fun killing these units real quick. And he can go kill those as well. Alright, well first we gotta make sure they're all completely routed so they don't come back. Miju can actually do that. Give him something to do. Okay, so they're engaged here at the tower. Oh, we had cow traps. We should. Th okay, let's throw these. Throw these. I forgot we had these. Oh, they have smoke screen. Okay. Well, we have so many archers here. I'm not worried. <laughs> we won. All right, not so hard. There we go. Alrighty. The new deployables make defensive battles much more pleasant. You narrow hallways with burning fires. Uh, we'll just be releasing for income. Unity. Alright, Telmal has died. Gift for the people. Oh, I don't want extra public order. I want, I want a rebellion. I think we'll still get one. Even plus 10, it'll be minus 11. Um... We got a military expert here. Turtle formation. Okay. So this is the direction where we're going to go. We're going to give Liu Bei the front line for this unit here. I don't think we're going to do much here. We're going to save cost for the beginning because until our economy picks up. And we're going to give the other item to Zhang Fei here just so that he has a little bit more authority. Uh, and then Guan Yu can just pick up an item for fun. Uh, we are going to get our administrator next turn, so that'd be good. Uh, we're going to test something here. So, he has movement, right? So we can recruit Guan Yu and Zhang Fei here and they will have movement. So for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, previously I have shown many times there's an exploit you can do where units you recruit onto the field on the first turn can still move. Now the trick is you want to recruit the units you want to move in the second and third slot of the army. So if I have four generals and three of them I want to put out on the field, I'll use one of them as a sacrificial piece. And in this case, I'm going to demonstrate with him. So first we're going to use up uh, some of his movement. So let's say we're going to use up all his movement to here. So he now has no movement. And if I recruit Guan Yu and Zhang Fei into his army, they still have no movement. But if I recall him at this point, because I want to heal him, Guan Yu's army has full movement. Uh, so we can move Guan Yu around all we want. Uh, so you can actually use this trick almost infinitely. Uh, that's why I like to keep generals on the court with no retinues. That way we can do this for free. And someone can always be that transport general. Uh, to get our other units moving. So we move them back here. I don't want to garrison them because if you garrison them in the city, it'll help reduce public order uh, deficit here. I'm basically setting them up to farm um, the rebels that are going to come out. Liu Bei's army should be fine down south by themselves. Um, we pretty much stabilized. Uh, Zhang Bao might have more armies in the north, but hopefully he will go fight them instead of us. And uh, I'm pretty sure Zhang Jiao has to re uh, summon a new army uh, if we just take a look at the situation right now Dong Zhuo has a bunch of land here because he absorbed Ding Yuan apparently right yeah Ding Yuan's gone so he took over Ding Yuan's old land Liu Yu is still alive no Ding Yuan's still on the map hmm Dong Zhuo just has one piece of land then I take it back they just have the same Dong Zhuo has two pieces of land Zhang Yan, okay, never mind. I take it back. Dong Zhuo just been helping. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is dying. Officially dying. Alright, all these armies are coming north. The Han Empire just too strong. The Mandate Ward's about to be over. Well, we got ourselves a little piece of home here. We're gonna try to grab both of these before the enemy or our allies grab them. Hmm. I'm going to try my best to get this army moving. We don't have any mustering issues, so I think we could potentially pick up this fight. He's full healed. He has some items that we could use. 
Let me think. We can probably fight this without losing any men. Yeah, we could. So let's get this fight done. Alright, I see Tao Tian's army over there. We're gonna just fight it and cut it out. So see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Easy win. Get some more unity points. Now the issue here is I see Tao Tian has a huge army here. Um, so he might be going after some of these territories that we want. That's a bit unfortunate, but I can't really do much about that. Uh, only thing we can do is stay on the road, and hopefully we can get Yu Ping back before he takes it. The looter is not a threat. None of these armies are a threat, so I don't really mind that. Alright, we're fine. Alright, let's just end turn here. Alrighty, uh, the Empire declare war on Ma Teng as well, okay. Uh, let's see, this is still Jin Xuan's faction, another one died. Seems like Gongdu is doing really well. So, rebellion happening next turn, we'll summon Shen Pei, uh, no, Zhao Zhao uh, to come out and get some experience here. Uh, we have another character. Uh, not, I mean, she has all the administrative skills, but not the administrative traits, so we're gonna pass on her. Energetic for Zhang Fei, that's very good. 5% campaign movement range. We can reach this army, but I'm not sure if we can reach the city. That's a little unfortunate. Hmm. We could just wait here and let Tao Tian not be able to take it. That's our only concern here. Yeah, I'm really not sure if we can attack the city. It would be a shame if we couldn't. Yeah, let's replenish for one more turn. Doesn't hurt to replenish. Uh, we can pick up our reform, get ourselves our administrator so that she can be happy. Or we can let her wait five more turns. That's also a possibility. Because she has the event uh, that's giving her 16 points of happiness right now. But I think we do need food. I think we should just rush this and then pick the reform of eunuch secretary here and then we'll pick her as our administrator why it is eunuch secretary still bugged oh my god it's still bugged that's really unfortunate it's still bugged mm. So this reform doesn't provide anything until they fix the bug here. Okay, wasted effort. We should have gone for replenishment or a trade route then. Extremely unfortunate. Eight more points. A small city provides 12 points. So a large, I believe, large town provides eight. Okay, so what we're gonna do Right, so we're going to rush down Yobei Pia next turn and then we'll be able to get we'll be able to get an administrator. We'll be negative food for a turn. Uh, a lot of things are going poorly here. Uh, we're going to be collecting taxes here just to get the fervor fixed as well. Also cheap income in the beginning. We still have supplies so we can still replenish this turn. Uh, that's a nasty turn of event here. Okay, what can we do? Let's continue next turn. No need to complain. Alright, Zhang Liang is dead. There goes one of the Zhang brothers. We need to take this now. Alright, simple fight. We're just gonna fight it and cut it out. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Clean fight. We got Yobei Ping back. It's not our capital anymore, so it's a little bit um, bad, I guess, uh, in a way. We finally increased our rank. So, do we get a 
administrator. No, we don't. Do we not? Well, we'll get a thousand extra gold regardless because we're no longer shoemaker. I guess you don't get one until second marquise. We get assignments. We finally have an extra army slot. Uh, they'll all display next turn. Uh, let's see. We don't want to change. We want to demolish. This, we are building something so we can't do anything here. We're going to keep the in building here. This is commerce. Alright. Actually, we're just going to wrap up our turn here. It's unfortunate we can't get a administrator in. Oh, we can. Oh. Maybe you just can't have a administrator before you become noble. Hmm. Maybe that's the case, because now we can. Now I can put her in there. We don't have to suffer through food production loss. Now, I don't want her there, though. We would want her here. Because there's more construction going on here. And also, she has the attrition trait. So, it'd be more defensive here in uh, Yobei Ping. Hmm. That's interesting. So I guess it's not bugged. It's just there's a condition to it. You can't be administrator when you are not at least noble, because noble was the basic rank you had uh, in the previous game. They in they invented a lower rank for you uh, in this game here. He's their other candidate, but he has even less expertise and he has some negative traits too, even though he has the income boost. Uh, right now we're going to pick her. Alright, she's going to be all of a sudden super happy with us. She still has lack of purpose, that, but that will go away slowly. So she'll bounce back to at least 66. Even though she'll lose she'll lose her fortunate event. So at least she'll be decently happy. Our um, character increase goes up to positive 1. Our income should bounce back. This should change. We should no longer be a shoemaker. So next turn, I think the income will bounce back nicely. Uh, but we're going to see that. Uh, actually, let's see that. We just have to fight this. He has an item. So in the case when they have items, what you want to do is you want to manually fight these. You want to manually fight these and then keep him alive. So that when he runs away, you could have a chance to capture him for that item. So we're going to fight this and cut to the end. Uh, I'll manually fight this. You don't have to suffer through it. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. That was simple. Just rush in and they all rout. We kept them on the field so we can get more unity. We got the item. That's what we were looking for. We captured him. We're just going to release for extra income here. And extra unity. Like the wind, extra experience, everything is going well. Uh, now we can just destroy them with a delegate. There we go. More unity. Yeah, this is one of the fastest way to gain unity. It's just to keep having uh, rebels farm out. So we're lacking reserve right now because we had a food penalty. Even though that should go away. Uh, once the reserve bounce back, because we do have a positive food balance now. Uh, but that's the way things look right now. We're going to keep farming here. This group we can try to farm out as well. So a lot of construction here. So we're going to try to get... Oh, we have every unit on the field. So we could actually hire someone new. We could go for income or we can go for savings. Okay, so she ha comes with a craftsman. That's actually quite good as well. Let's see what item everyone comes with. So we could recruit her for the purpose of assignments. Who did she work for? Wait, what faction did she work for? Oh, uh, we don't. We can't see it from here anymore. I can't tell by the name because the flag is different. It might be a faction that have died out, so I don't think she is a spy. We could marry her. Plus four satisfaction faction wide. Oh, uh, saboteur is not good. 
She's rank 4. She's a little too high rank. I like her item just a little bit. Uh, because our other item that we gained, plus 20 food production, is not shabby either. Hmm, let me think. Uh, we probably, yeah, we probably want industry, um, but not here because we don't have any here. Lord of Sources. So he gets extra stats. Attrition, morale. Okay, I think she's going to be better, but it's going to be harder to keep her happy. We could just marry her, but I don't want her to be our... Alright, we're going to just take the item. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best move, actually. We could take this and just use him for assignment for a few turns. Hmm. I'm also considering their level because higher level candidates are going to be angrier with us. Basically, I don't like anyone on the roster right now. But I also really do want someone to do assignments for us. Alright, she wins. We're going to put her here to decrease construction cost. We're going to grab her item. Even though there's currently no industry income in here, eventually there will be. So we can use that in the future. Right now, we're still going to give her the food because we actually have food production here. Alright, and once we get our unity up, she can be a temporary um, administrator as well. Yeah, I don't trust her that much. She could be a spy. If that faction is still alive. Oh, Yuan Yi's faction. Never mind, that faction might have died. Nope, they're still here. So she could be a spy. Gotta keep an eye out. Zasu is over here. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna wrap up our turn. And end turn and end our episode. This one ran quite long here. Alright, that's fine. Let's go to the next turn. Alright, new turn. Uh, we're gonna just wrap up our episode here. Uh, we're not gonna continue this. Uh, we got a new uh, spawn of... Uh, Rebellion here and she's carrying professional instructor. We're gonna try to get this item off of her as well So we're gonna keep farming rebels here. Our reserve has fixed itself. So now it's gonna be uh, More difficult to get rebel spawning, but with high fervor we should be able to do it uh, Over here. We just have to pick up the looter army and the iron mine uh, John Ball has a full army here still quite strong. So we might need some help uh, so we might uh, think about changing this army composition up a little bit. The easiest fix is to give Liu Bei spear guards. Uh, once our economy bounce back, it should be fine. Uh, we are a noble, but okay, this has bounced back to 1,500, so that's good. So most of our expense is on characters. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so things are looking pretty good. We're going to make sure we get ourselves this little corner, leave it to ourselves here. Uh, Tao Tian, since he's not guarding it, Hopefully Zhang Bao and Zhang Zhao can take it out before they die off. As you can see, they have been uh, surrounded now. They don't have much land. Uh, they've been destroyed by the Empire. That's the fate of the Yellow Turbans. They actually lasted quite long, 188. Uh, the actual Yellow Turban lasted about a year. Uh, Gong Du, though, making a name for himself down here. And Huang Shao is still breathing. So we'll see uh, how things go from here, and we'll come back next episode. Bye.